Hello, today I will discuss the topic of Spearman rank difference coefficient of correlation. Here are the main ideas it is applicable when the set of scores that is available is in terms of rank order and when the set of scores is small, less than 30, it is also known as Spearman raw and it uses the raw symbol. Its main formula is raw equals 1 minus 6 times the summation of d squared over n times n squared minus 1, where that Greek letter symbolizes rho. d equals the difference between two sets of ranks and n as the number of pairs. But when n is 10 or greater, Testing the significance of P can also be computed using T value with the formula T equals rho times the square root of N minus 2 over 1 minus rho squared. Here are some facts. The Spearman rank difference coefficient of correlation is named after Charles Spearman and it assesses the difference between two variables. Example 1. Since the rank is already given, we don't have to rank them. Our first step here is to subtract the pairs. Example, judge 1a is 2 while judge 2a is 1. Then we subtract 2 minus 1, we get 1, and then continue with the rest. After we get the differences, we square it. Now that we have the squares of the differences, we must now find the summation of the squares by adding all of them. The result is 44, then we count the rows. The rows are considered as n, since we have 8 rows, n is equal to 8. Now we make our null hypothesis, which would be there is no significant difference between judge 1 and judge 2. Now we use the formula. With the formula, we will solve slowly to provide a clear view of the process. To test our hypothesis, we need to find the tabular value for Spearman, to find the TV, we use degrees of freedom, n minus 2. Our DF is 6. With the DF, we will find the TV using a table. Since n is below 10, we don't need to use T value. With the level of significance as a basis, we must find it in the table of values for Spearman. Since we can't provide the table, we will provide the TV. After everything is calculated, we have to create the decision by comparing the raw with the tabular value. In this case, our CV or our calculated value is lesser than the TV. If CV is less than TV, the null hypothesis is accepted. If CV is higher than TV, the null hypothesis is rejected, meaning the null hypothesis is accepted. It's accepted because CV is lesser than TV. There is no significant difference between judge 1 and judge 2. Example 2. The difference between 3rd year and 4th year. Now that the rank isn't given, we have to assign a rank to them from largest to smallest. So first column of variables is for D1 and second for D2. After the first column, we will rank the second. As you can see, there are two equal numbers in column 2. In order to rank the same values, you average the designated numbers. For example, the two values 46 in the fourth year column ranks 3 and 4, average 3 and 4 to get 3.5. Then we solve with D1 and D2. We subtract both for D, then square the D for D squared. Then we sum up the D squared and find the N, after that the null hypothesis. And again we solve.
This time that n is equal or greater than 10, in this case, it is equal to 10. We will now use t value formula. Then df. Now that we use t value, we have a separate table for t value. In here, CV is lesser than TV, meaning the null hypothesis is accepted. The HO is accepted because the CV is lesser than TV. There is no significant difference between third year and fourth year. Third example, the difference between males and females. First, the ranking of the two columns. Then the subtraction phase. Then the squaring. Then sum up all and find n. Then we make the null hypothesis. Using the formula we solve. Since n is greater than 10, we will use t value. Then the degrees of freedom. Since t value is used, we will use the table for t value. In here, the CV is greater than TV, meaning the null hypothesis is rejected. Our conclusion would be the HO is rejected because the CV is greater than TV. There is a significant difference between male and female. If N is 10 or greater, use T value. Remember HRLA. Higher reject, lower accept. If there are two or more of the same number, we average the ranks and there are two separate tables, Spearman and T value. Don't get confused. Thanks for watching. Bye.